Oh my god, what did you get for Christmas? I got a bunch of anime DVDs and then, um... Got myself some... Oh, my camera's this way. I, I So I moved everything and I'm used to my camera being off in this direction. But, um... Got a bunch of lip... Sticks. I keep wanting to say lip gloss, but they're not lip glosses. They're lips. They're actually lipsticks, and they come with lip liners, which is cool. Cause I, it's been a long time since I've got some. Um. Yes, we have webcam today. I was like, I got new lipsticks. I'm digging these colors. And so we we trying. But I've never played this, so I, I don't know what to expect. Please, stop. Okay, horror element. Why? Okay, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> now. Now it'll be forever. It'll be forever. Oh, Shizuo, you bought a bunch of manga not realizing you can't read kanji. That'll do it. Hmm. Warning, I'd better get up. I, are we playing? I, can't, I don't remember. Are we playing as a girl? Oh, this is like that, um... Yuma Nikki remake. That was, it was like in this style. I wonder if that's what this is inspired by. Uh, when I wake up, there's one thing I should always do right away. Diary! Look at the memory notebook on my desk. Yesterday's breakfast. Yogurt. Lunch. Sandwich. Dinner. Curry rice and salad. That seems like a- that last one seems kind of weird to me. Uh, read up to page 63 of the book in the drawer. The story so far. No events to speak of. Spent the day at home. Relatable. Oh, chat, I'm sorry if I missed your question. I see. So that's uh, the day yesterday's me had. Oh. Oh, this art's cute. I'm Michiru Orihara, age 16. Good. Still able to remember myself today. I have a memory disorder. Since a little over a year ago, after a head injury, I've only been able to keep memories for about a day. When I sleep, I forget faces and what I did. Most of what happened that day, I forgot. Or I forget. So before I go to bed, I need to write down anything I want to remember in my memory notebook. This notebook is very precious. It's what connects yesterday's me to today's me. Oof, okay. What was that? I thought I heard a sound in the living room. Do I have... Do I have parents? Oh, my controller does work. Not in... Okay, a little weird to get used to. Fine. Turning back further, it details how I was until recently hospitalized at a place called Mashiba Hospital. Okay. Bookcases? Or bookcase with books I don't know. Mm, okay, so this is like that Yuminiki 3D remake. Okay, before I go there. I just woke up. I'm not sleepy yet. Can I go outside? I can go to the balcony through the window, but not right now. Why not? Also, I am trying my best to read comments and play this game, so we will see. Oh, it's dark. Oh! Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Hello, who are you? Oh, his, his little character model is so cute. His art. Weird. Morning, Michiru. Sorry, did I wake you up? Who are you? It's okay. Good morning, you. How do you remember him? I thought you couldn't remember people. What was that sound? Haha, <laughs> just broke a plate while I was getting breakfast ready. Watch your step. Should I get slippers? I can do the cooking. You don't have to push yourself. No way. No reason for you to be in the kitchen. Just leave every little thing around the house to me, and you focus on recovery. Who is this person? 
If you cut yourself with a knife, thank you for the follow, um, <laughs> with a knife or get burned by a paw or get sal salt and pepper in your eyes, I'm getting chillies just thinking about it. Or I'm getting chills just thinking about it. I'm like, there's so much happening right now. Um, uh, Sheila? Shayla? I do not. <laughs> Also, how long is this live stream? I'm not too certain. Maybe like another 30 minutes and then I have to take a break because I have a package that is that I have to be there for. They just wouldn't let it drop it down, whatever. Um also, Cookie Girl, hello, how are you? Um, okay. You're blowing it way out of proportion. By the way, did you make breakfast yesterday? Uh, about that. I tried to, but you, uh, rested away. What? Rested? What is that word? I've never seen it. Uh, but you rested away the frying pan around the time the ham turned to charcoal. Then I feel like maybe I should make it again before you burn the whole house down. He's my older brother, Yu Orihara. I'm gonna, like... I'm getting certain vibes from him that I don't know if I like or if I I really don't like. Uh, he's in college but stays home uh, for me now. That's such a weird, weird thing. Also, Jared, I think you're right. I think it is a typo for wrestled. I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM the person who translated this. <laughs> um, he's in college but stays home for me now. He's trying to do everything around the house by himself in my place. I feel like he didn't care for chores before. He was, however, always a little overbearing. Maybe he's concerned about my injury. At any rate, he's not my only family. One of the- Okay. Where are her parents? <laughs> Where are her parents? Are they dead? Um, one of the few people I was connected to before my memory was impaired. It's fine. I looked how to do it today. Just leave it to me. So with that said, just wait a little longer for breakfast. Well, in that case, I guess I'll watch TV and wait here. What if he breaks another plate? Wow, look at all these colored trash cans. Bins, uh, for trash. I guess you handle the trash? Did we just move? Stack of cardboard boxes for some reason. Or are we moving? Moving's kind of weird. Yes. Also, if you're just stopping by, thank you so much. Appreciate it. We continue on our ongoing report on the Mashiba Hospital serial murders. Mashiba Hospital? That's where we came from. I think that's the hospital I was in. I saw it over and over in my notebook earlier. I think that must be it. There's been a total of three victims within the past month, yet the case remains shrouded in mystery. Other than the victims being either patients or employees at Meshiva Hospital, there have been few clues as to... Huh? It turned off. Whoa! Whoa, what's wrong? Calm down. Is he the murderer? Oh no. Uh, you scared me, you. What's the matter? Do you want to watch something else? Don't watch TV. Huh? You don't need to watch TV. Why? That was about the hospital I was in, right? It happened just recently. Just hold on while I make breakfast. You told me to watch TV originally. Please. He was acting weird this morning. I don't know why he gave me such a glare for just trying to watch TV. And in the end, he wouldn't tell me anything about the case at the hospital. I wonder if I did something wrong. I guess I should put it in my notebook. My brother. Broke plate. Was asshole to me. Got, uh, you got mad when I was watching news on TV. Did I do something wrong? News about the hospital. What if he- oh my gosh. What if he takes our notebook every day and just puts a new one? 
I wonder what kind of place that was. Well, it's getting late. I should sleep. So long to today's me. Oof. So someone said, I think you is a kidnapper because he doesn't- because they don't look alike. Car crash? Me, dad, and mom. We were all in a car accident. They couldn't save- there we go. They couldn't save dad and mom, and I had a, ma a major head injury with, the, with lasting effects. Namely, this memory defect. It happened about a year ago. I remember things before the incident just fine. My childhood, my neighbors, you. But after the accident, me being hospitalized, recovering, and eventually being dismissed, I have hardly any memory of that. Maybe I didn't keep a memory notebook yet, or my old notebook was disposed of? And not only is it not in my notebook, you won't tell me anything about back then. Is he the murderer? Are we the murderer? But I want to get back my memory of that blank period, the year after the accident. I mean, it must have been extremely important. It's when my entire life gets turned on its head. I lost my parents and my memory was damaged. But it was the precious year in which I found a way to stand back up. Of course, I don't think you would be hiding it from me intentionally, but... But to think that I can't even remember important things like that without a notebook... Sometimes it makes me so terrified. Flight Dream Someone said, this is really sad. It is. Which is why I, like... I'm like, I, I, I think the brother... Might not be our brother. Maybe he snuck his way into our life somehow. Advice. You can advance time by taking a nap in your bed. When you wake up, you may have changed locations. Hmm. Also, he reminds me of someone from Corpse Party who is also a brother. So I'm just like, oh no. Morning. I'd better get up. Also, this has jump scares, which I'm like, I, they get me so easily. Let's see, yesterday's memory entry. Broke a plate in the morning. Is he, is he doing what I think he's doing? But otherwise, there wasn't much else. It, it has to be him, right? Was this blocked out? Maybe yesterday's me was going to write something down but decided not to? But the last sentence seems strange. Even the handwriting looks weird. Oh well. Only yesterday's me knows about yesterday. I just keep living my hollow life for a single day to leave behind today's me in the notebook. Begin search, part one. So to meet you do how she wants to spend her uneventful days. However, she wants to regain her memory. So, could, uh, she could also look for clues. She likely can't rely on her brother, you, but can inspect things around the house. Of course, it might be wise to do so without letting you find out. Okay. I will try to do that. Closet with my clothes in it. They're all familiar clothes. It hasn't changed much. Um, look outside. We can see you smoking on the balcony. Oh, he's outside! Go, 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 go. Wait, how do I get to the living room? Oh, here we go. Oh my god! He got me again! Stop! How did he get there so quickly? He was smoking! Okay. What the heck? It's not fair. Okay, let's get up. Let's see, yesterday's memory entry. It wasn't a, it wasn't a very eventful day. That's not even my handwriting. The house feels quiet. Is he back out here?
Daphne's. I don't remember growing them before the accident. Since they're right here beside my bedroom, maybe that means I started growing them after getting out of the hospital? Still, I don't feel like these flowers will help me remember anything for now. What if you hid something? Oh, they're connected. Uh, so I guess this could be like another escape route. Don't really feel like cooking. Uh, open freezer. It's packed full of instant meals, it's true. You has never been one for cooking, but a stockpile this huge is almost creepy. Why would he stock up so much? It's not like he can't just go out regularly. A lot of energy drinks high in caffeine, but you shouldn't be busy when he's off school. Does he need to push himself that hard? Actually, he seems kind of pale lately. I wonder if he's not sleeping well. It's because he's busy trying to figure out how to keep us in... Um, been sort of journal. My notebook didn't say much. What? Excuse me? Oh, wait, he's here. Okay. Don't mind me. Miscellaneous items. This photo in the frame making itself prominent. I'm in it holding a bouquet. Looks like it's outside a hospital. 320. Oh, this photo. Maybe it's from the day I was hospitalized. I don't think it'll help me remember anything, but I think my notebook starts around this date. What are these boxes about? Yes. <gasps> Jeez, stop it! Oh, I knew it! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. What are you doing, Michidu? If you're looking for something, ask me. You can just wait around. Uh, you can just wait around. What's in the boxes? Why are we moving? Go take a smoke break. Are we watching TV together? Why am I not watching TV? Oh, I'm busy reading- You're- you don't have a book! Oh, I'm busy reading a book, and there's nothing interesting on anyway. You're not reading a book. Okay, my room should be to the left. It's a restroom. Why would you knock? There's nobody inside. Guessing this is his room? Oh, it's our parents' bedroom. Uh, but now it's just an unused room. Enter. Stop it! Oh, he's he looked really mad. Okay. I should be reading these hints, but I kind of want to figure it out. Let's see. What's this say now? It wasn't a very eventful day. Hmm. Michiru. What the fudge? What the... Try not to curse. What is going on? You, when did you... You need something outside? Just tell me. I can take care of it. No, not really. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Oh, that's the outside. I thought maybe it was his bedroom. It's important that you recover. If you went outside, I mean, <laughs> you could get into an accident or something. An accident? That doesn't seem like, uh, that doesn't seem at all likely. Listen, you shouldn't go outside, okay? Promise. Oh, don't promise. <sighs> um, P3 said, I may have forgotten to say it's not as scary to other games. Oh, okay. That's okay. Sweet. Thank you, MP3. Hmm. He was acting strange today. It's almost like he was watching me to make sure I didn't go outside. It might be good to remember this. Same thing could happen again. Write it down, tear it out, hide it. 
When I tried to go out, you stopped me. He said you're recovering. It's dangerous. But he's, is he usually that strict? Something strange about the recent entries. Part of them are blacked out, and some days I hardly write anything at all. I wonder if my emotions have been getting unstable lately. No! He's doing this on purpose! I know. In that case, I'll keep these, uh, I'll keep things that seem especially important in a new notebook, not just this one. Smart girl. Um, and this new second memory notebook, I'll keep in the back of this drawer. Back of this drawer has always been my, uh, place for putting important things. Hmm, okay. Um, so even if my usual notebooks gets, uh, usual notebook gets blacked out and I can't depend on it, I can remember important things with this new one. Hmm, it's not enough that I forget. Now I have to protect my notebook from my future self too? Am I going to be okay? It's not, it's your brother. Well, it's getting late. I should sleep. So long to today's me. Um, if the house seems quiet, it either means you is out or he's lying in wait. Okay. It wasn't a very eventful day. It's kind of weird that... Um, if you hit a wall looking for memory shards, try gathering your thoughts at the desk. Should see what you need to do next. Okay. Um, sort them out? I'm bored. We don't have any computers or smartphones around the house, so all there is to do is read. I wonder if there's anything fun on TV. I mean... We can try. Okay, oh, he's smoking. Okay. Hot huh, TV remote. What was it doing here? Whatever the case, I can turn the TV with this. No, I need to go to my room. Don't. He probably checks on me through that window and I'm not looking. Hide the controller. Should be about noon now. So noon, he like takes a smoke break, I guess. Wait, ah, the controls are kind of weird. Yes. Stop it. Try to catch you off guard is a brush with danger. If you should fail and he finds that out, been that you've been pulling one over him. Probably not gonna end well. It wasn't a very eventful day. Look at the other notebook. Did we forget about it? Spect. At a glance, I think it's mostly novels. Reading should be good notebook practice. Okay. This was the bathroom. Okay, so his bedroom's like out, um, 
Oh no, this is the washroom and bathroom. I don't sense anyone. Okay. There's no one here now and there's nothing in it. Oh, can I turn the TV on from here? Bathtub drain is stained a darkish red. Maybe it's rusted. Otherwise, nothing out of the ordinary. No, it's blood. How? Okay, so how do I use the the controller? Or did I lose it? it should be about noon. Oh, enter his room from the living room. Ooh. Oh, he's not okay. Hmm. Can you go out to the store and buy me stuff? You should read instead of watching TV. I can lend you books if you need some. I know, I'll lend you a whole series. Oh, how how nice of you. No. I guess this is his room then? I thought that was the way out, but... Apparently not. Nope, still says the same. What a shame! I'm so sleepy! Oh my god, this is very... okay, there we go. Moving in this? Not... not as easy with the controller as I thought. Yes, take a nap. I think the sun's starting to go down. Okay, is he still here? Oh, he's not outside. Hmm. This is his room, go inside. Oh, we must be in the bathroom. Oh, maybe he's taking a bath. <sighs> Oof. Also, if you're just joining, hello. Honestly, you didn't miss much. I'm trying to figure out what's going on as well. This is his room. I just felt like barging in somehow, but I guess I really shouldn't. I should leave before he gets mad. Huh? What's a stack of boxes? Something sticking out. A sleeve or something? She, she should really put that in. Ah, there's blood on it! W what is this? Is this blood? Was he hurt? But he didn't seem to have any injuries. That would bleed, uh... Injuries that would bleed like this. Okay, just calm down. That's a lot of blood. I'll put this shirt back in the box. Get the feeling that I shouldn't let you find out about this. I'd better leave now. Oh no, he's gonna be there. Is he there? The shirt in his room. It was bloody. It's strange how he didn't throw it away. But how did it get like that at all? It might be good to remember this. I can't imagine if uh can't imagine it doesn't mean anything. No, write it in the other one! Found a bloody shirt in Yu's room. He doesn't look hurt, and why does he keep it around? I know, if it's something important, maybe I'll keep it in a separate notebook. Do I have anything in these drawers? Oh, another memory notebook. Aha, so past me had the same thought. Then I'll also write about today in the second memory notebook. That should do it. She should know better. She should know not to write in the first one, but write in the second one. 
Well, it's getting late. I should sleep. So long to today's me. Girl, come on. <sighs> if you feel like you might have his eye on you, it might be best to go to sleep in your room. Okay. Morning, I'd better get up. Hmm, let's see. It wasn't a very eventful day. not out he's not out in the balcony if he was it'd be so much easier is he in the bathroom oh he is showering da, 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 da. speed on through yes oh like okay where oh he does have a computer that little okay, so there's a bloody shirt it's nothing too unusual other than it feeling a little sparse. Check one more thing. It's a photo in the frame making itself prominent. Meet you to his first day at elementary school. Ah, he's no, he's one of those. Oh, I want to keep looking, but I'm scared he's going to come out of the bathroom. PC is in sleep mode. Check it. Folder is locked for reading. Please input the password to unlock it. Password hint beginning. Password beginning. I wonder what that means. Oh, crap. Was it 0407? Is that what was in the picture? Shoot. No. Hmm. Could there be any other clues around? The beginning of what, I wonder. When he. When he kidnapped me. There's some advanced looking books. Perfect crime. Five. 151 days as a serial killer. She's behind the case of the confined girl. 551, I guess? I should just leave. I'm getting too greedy. 551. Oh, really? Okay, let's get out of here. It's empty. Oh, he cle Oh, no! He found me! Hello. Shoot. Morning. I'd better get up. What? What happened after he finds us? Does he like beat us, or does does he just like force us to go to sleep? At all? Oof. It wasn't a very eventful day. Okay, so I have to find something with beginning. Or to deal with beginnings. Also, sorry, what time is it? Okay. It's 5.51 for me. I want to keep playing but at the same time i don't know if to stop the stream or just put it on like a break screen hmm also um estefanos Est estefanos um no so the whole thing with this game is that it, after this girl goes to sleep she basically forgets everything Dab a riot? I guess you're gonna be rioting, Lewis. But, um... But yeah, so... So when I go to sleep, I'll forget everything, which is why she writes things down. But any time that she writes down anything on her first one, her brother, like, blacks it out. So that's why we got a second notebook. Which he hasn't found, but if he does, I feel like he'll get really mad. I'm really bored. There's nothing to do. Okay. Also, George, I saw you. How you? How you doing? 
Um, it's been a year since you've used this channel. Not true. I've streamed a couple of times. So... Someone's been slacking. Seems like no one's in. So, do both these doors go to the same bathroom? I don't... Never mind. I was like, oh wait, is he in here? Is he just staying quiet? Live scene. There we go. It is working. Cool. Uh, I did change, or I did put another hoodie on top of my other jacket because it's it's cold. <laughs> um, where was I? Okay, so there's the brother. Also, Maya says, I'm 10. Hello. Nice. I'm not the most child friendly, so uh, we'll try my best. Um, no need for you to leave the house. All right. Okay. Mm. Info? Okay, oh, I, I do still have it, okay. Ugh, that sound. Um, found in a pile of boxes. Could end up there, unless intentionally hidden. Oof, that noise. It should be about noon now. Oh yeah, so I had to find something to do with beginnings. No control. Okay. A. For today's show, we have a special feature on the case that has been stirring everyone up. The Mashima Hospital Serial Murders. Mashima Hospital? That must be the hospital I was in. Yes. It's a heck of a thing, isn't it? Anywhere you look, people are talking about it. That's what happens when you're the- or when there's three murders in such a short time. Plus, the victims are all related to the hospital and were killed there. But what's scariest of all is that there's so much to link the murders together, yet hardly anything on the culprit themselves. That's right, there's no doubt it's someone involved with the hospital, or who comes in and out often. The victims are young and old, male and female, from nurses to patients. Maybe it's sick pleasure? Or their personal grudges at work? It's a hospital, you know, so many people. Um, I wouldn't think an outsider could get away with such crimes, but visitors to patients or relatives? Couldn't they get in pretty easily? Well, we can guess all we like, but they're looking into links between the victims now. Let's just hope there won't be another one. If there is a next vic uh, victim, that'll be number four. Even this killer has been getting prudent. It may not be the hospital's next, so beware. I don't remember any. T uh, I don't remember my time at the hospital, but I guess with all this going on while I was staying there, I'm glad I didn't get involved. I wonder if this incident is why you is attending to me so much at home, or he's the one who did it. Ugh. Also, oh, MP3, you're stuck in 240p land. Sorry. It seems everyone's talking about the Mashiba Hospital serial murders. Was the TV remote hidden to hide that? Might be good to remember this. Could be important. Write it in the super secret journal. Mashiba Hospital serial murders are current hot topic. Dang, alright. Um, also, I wish it was cold in Australia. It's 33 degrees Celsius here. Oof, also, okay. Keep going. Uh, I know, if it's something important, maybe I'll keep in a separate notebook. You, yeah! Oh, another notebook. Ha! Past me must have thought about the same. Okay. News on TV. We don't want it. Next day. Mm. 
summing up what wasn't in my main notebook, but was written in my second notebook. First of all, you is strictly forbidding me from going outside. Next, you is hiding or trying to hide the hotly discussed Mashiba serial murders from me. Uh, the hidden and hidden in his room was a bloody shirt. It's because he's a murderer. So then, will these things actually help with recovering my memories of that blank period? Question is, why did my past selves black these things out? It's because it's her brother. Or what if the brother's trying to protect her? What if she's the murderer? Also, hmm. Weird. Also, MP3, I see you in the Discord. Don't tell me. What if it wasn't me, but... No, there's no chance. Everyone who knows me should know private... Uh, should know how private and precious my memory notebook is. Just her brother? And meddling with my memory notebook would be equivalent to manipulating memories. That's a horrifying thing to do. It is, but... Hmm. I'll put this away and go to the bed. Hmm? What's this in the back drawer? The Mirror World. Works of Mishiro Usui. I don't remember this, but maybe it was a painter I liked? Oh, what if, her, what if that's her brother? All these paintings are so pretty. It's like they're soaking into my heart. Deep, deep in my heart. Hmm. My head's hurting a little. Guess I'm tired. Enough fishing around in drawers. Time for bed. No, keep going. Also, someone said, I'm hearing double. Um, maybe you have a second window open by accident. Ooh, save data. Also, Kakish. Nice stream. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Oof, that sound. Three months ago, Mashiba Hospital. Oh, we're going back in time. Okay. Miss Michiru Orihara, are you suffering from memory disorder? You're unable to keep recent memories for more than 24 hours. You must feel restless, but there's no need to hurry. If you are if you are mentally prepared, try to confront it a little bit at a time. Don't worry, you have all the time you need. Oh, is he a... Is he a doctor? Oh, did she have long hair? It's a bizarre feeling. My parents died. I suffered a major injury. My memories since then are all vague, and yet here I am, entirely calm. I'm sure this memory disorder is to blame. I understand that it's been months since the accident, but my latest memories are just before it, in the car. Come tomorrow, what happens today will become like a dream. I won't remember it. That's all, uh, that's... Whoa, someone did something. Also, thank you for the follow. Um, that's what it's like... Every day, on and on. When I think that, it starts to feel like my life is just somebody else's business. All these feelings shriveling up and withering away. The doctors and my brother suggest rehabilitation, but I can't get in, my, in any mood for it. However, I confront this defective memory. If it can't be cured, then it'll come to nothing. This person, me, has no future left. Every day is like the last day of her life. Sad. Maybe I'll get a drink. Where are the vending machines? Oh, I guess we do have long hair. Oh, that's cute. Is this a vending machine? Hmm. Shadow people. When I get to the vending machines, you've been here a lot. Um, you really ought to learn that. Even if I told you, you'd ask me the same old question tomorrow, right? Ugh. Yes, I'm sure that that's the way everyone sees me. Ooh. Oh my god, controlling her in this is a little difficult. Oh, who's that blonde person? Also, yeah, this- maybe this is where she got kidnapped. You're in a dream. But she does have a brother, so did- 
did that other guy kill? Kill him? I don't... What's going on? You're in a dream, so the scenery might change just because of how you feel. Or you'll even see yourself up in the air. Even saying that, it's something. What's the deal here? So the hospital is a maze? Because hospitals are complex, I never tried to learn my way around. Since, uh, since there was no point. How do I get to blonde lady? Honestly, not sure how to handle you. We're in the same hospital room, but every day you look at me over, like, who the hell's this? People with faulty memory, I'm sure that's how they're, they're seen. It's not their fault. Oh, I could get over. Huh. friend? Miss Orihara! Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean Mirai. I meant Michiru. Oh, they both have the same last name. Question mark? Also, excuse me while I take a drink. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Uh, because you're both Miss Orihara. <laughs> okay then, Michiru, it's about time for your checkup. Okay. So you're Orihara too, eh? How should I reply? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Your name's also Orihara? Sure is. If she doesn't feel like conversing, why did she talk to me? Got a checkup, right? Get going. Um, yes. Well then. A few days later. I'm thirsty. Where are the vending machines? It's this weird cycle all over again. Mm, I can go this way. Feels like... Uh, feels like the way changed? Ha, huh, that's a laugh. Can't keep a hold of your memories, so it's always a first when it's the same. Hospital's always complex. I'm seeing this for the first time. Oh, controlling her in this is kind of difficult. Okay. No, stop it. Guess we're taking the long way. Oh, that was actually kind of a short cut. Um, examining examination room to the vending machines? It's fine to ask questions, but anybody will get annoyed at the same thing over and over. Hospital workers are people too, you know. Of course, which is why I figured it out myself. I've got too much time on my hand anyways. On my hands. Oh, what a good girl. Not talking with anybody? But you're bro lately, huh? Guess it figures. Anybody you met after the accident, you'll forget tomorrow, so it's kind of a waste making connections. Yes, it's just a waste for both our times. Aww. No. Also, hello if you're just joining us. Ah, you're the one with the memory loss. Um, well, I'll be going now. See you, or... Wait, goodbye? If you're going to sit be weird about it, then just don't talk to me at all. 
Dang, she's so mad about it. Calm down, girl. It's alright. Oh, why can't I... Okay, I was a step too, too low. Huh, aren't you? Huh? Who? Doesn't remember. Funny meeting you here, Orihara. We met here the other day, yeah? You know, because I'm also an Orihara, so thought they were calling for me instead. This person must not know about my memory. I'm sorry. I have a memory defect, so I can't remember. Maybe we met before, but... She's probably gonna be upset and make this awkward. Your memory. Oh, huh. I'm sorry for not remembering. It's alright. That ain't on you. Oh, she's so chill about it. It's my bad for hollering out of the blue. Is this why we're... We're gonna become friends? <gasps> oh, did the brother kill her? Because we got close to her? She even looks a little scary, so I certainly didn't expect her to tell me no. It's my bad. Also, oh no, hold up. Did I lock the... Mm. No, it's fine, okay. She even looked a little scary, so I certainly didn't expect her to tell me no, it's my bad. And she's about my age, maybe I did a bad thing. Did she talk to me on some other day? But even those feelings will all just go away when I sleep. It's annoying and not worth thinking about. Yes, if it just if I just let today end, she'll never speak to me again. Miss Takanashi? Hm? What's the matter, Michiru? If today if I want to not forget about what happened today, what should I do? Oh, is she the one that told her about writing stuff down? Are you tr uh are you thinking about trying recovery? Not really anything big like that, just this girl who might, uh, who might know me talked to me, but well, I couldn't remember her. And then she ended up apologizing to me instead. I just thought it'd be good if I could at least remember things like that. That right, then. Well then, you should write about that girl. Write about her? If you can't remember it in your head, just write it down in words. Her name, how she looks, her features. Then you could look back at it tomorrow and know yesterday I talked with a person like this about this stuff, right? I see. Of course, it would probably confuse you a whole lot tomorrow morning if you wrote down a bunch at once. First, how about you just write down things about the girl? If it were me though, I'd write stuff like my stubborn <laughs> boss's weaknesses. I get it, then I'll write about- uh, or I'll write on this memo pad. Oof, that was how the memory notebook began. Of course, I also wrote about that kind nurse who taught me how to use it, Miss Takanashi. The notebook isn't only for remembering. It's writing to leave to my future self, to entrust the connections and favors that today's me formed for to, uh, tomorrow's me, so that, there won't, so that that won't be undone. Um... Hmm? Uh, connection we had that I wrote down. I can't let it be lost. Uh, Orihara? Are you, um, Orihara? Yes. Didn't you say you had a bum memory? I got through. Even though today's me can't really feel it, the past me is meeting her again. Okay, sure. Uh, I decided to keep a notebook, so the people I meet and what we're talking about aren't just lost every time. Hmm, I getcha. Hey, um, wait, so then you specifically wrote about... Oh, she's so cute. Also, hi Chris, how's it going? Um... Mirai Orihara. Ori like weaving, hara like fields, and Mirai, you know, like the future. Huh, so I guess there's... They're, they're said the same, but they're written differently. Mine is Ori like folding, Har like fields, and my first name, Michiru, 
is like, not yet, and petals falling. Hmm. That's actually pretty similar still. Both names, matter of fact. Cause even the me's are the same. Um, you think so? Yeah. Can't keep the conversation going. Well, so, uh, glad to meet ya. I just came to visit, not like I'm staying here. But we're about the same age, yeah? Yeah. Where's the- where's the jealous brother come in from? He was taking a shower, it's possible to find something you- if you inspect his clothes. Like money? Better get up! Feels like I had a dream about the past. I wonder what it was about. What prompted- uh, what prompted me to remember the past? Ms. Takanashi was a nurse at Mashiba Hospital who taught me to use memory notebook. Mirai Orihara was this slightly crude girl about the same age with a similar name who I met at the hospital. I woke up, but I still remember. Huh? What? Why am I crying all of a sudden? Did we kill her? Something is stirring my memories. Is it something sleeping in this house? Well, we remembered something, so that's that. Oh, okay. It was uneventful today. I decided I should probably spend tomorrow just relaxing in my room and reading. I don't really feel like reading in my room now. Why would yesterday's me insist on this? Because it's not you. It's your brother, idiot. Begin search. A few items and memory shards. You may be able to find clues in things that you didn't catch or that didn't catch your eye before. Painting book, Mashiba Hospital, Miss Takanashi Mirai Orihara, they may be leads to finding new memories. No. Reading should be good practice. Nope. Changed. There's nobody out here. Brother's not in here. Oh, I need to get into the parents' room. He stopped me last time. No, I just want to know, is he in the room? Oops. Because if he's showering, then I could probably sneak into the parents' room. Alright, no! Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. It's not out there. <gasps> Showering. Yes, go inside. Seems to be locked, the door won't budge. Oh no, did he hear that? She like backed up on her own there, what? What was that noise? Huh, oh, it's empty. I don't think I should be here anymore. No, don't take a nap in his room. <sighs> Beginning. I really shouldn't try to crack his password and look inside, huh? Never mind that. Alright, well... <gasps> oh my... God. Stop it! Why? 
trying to catch you off guard is a brush with danger. You should fail and he finds out. You're trying to pull one over him. Dang. Okay. So I need... Okay, so there's like nothing else in his room that I can find. But I need a key to get into the parents' room. It was in a very eventful room. Or day. Okay. Go outside. I'm surprised he doesn't try to stop me from going out here. Um... Think about it more. Daphne's. Daphne's? These flowers, I saw them somewhere. What? Something just appeared in my mind. It was that book. Uh, my head's hurting suddenly. I'll go rest for a while. So, something to do with that... That book we got... I think I'm feeling better now. Just what happened earlier. I was just looking at the pot of Daphne's on the balcony when I suddenly... When I started to grow them after the accident, then is it a memory from the blank period? I'm not sure how to describe it, but I'll try to put it into words. Maybe write it down in my notebook. Write it down in the other one. Looking at Daphne's made me uh, made some kind of memory flit through my mind. Paintings, flowers, blood? I can't describe it very well. Also, hello if you're just joining us. I know, if it's something important- Yes! Write it down in the second one. Huh, there's something in the back of this drawer. Got him. This book. It's the same collection I saw in my mind. I wonder if there are any clues in the book. Look through it. Look through it. These paintings are all pretty, abstract, but there's some kind of appeal to them. The colors? Ah! This one. No doubt about it. It's what flashed through my mind. It's called... Blight. Ugh, my head's killing me again. There's no question, this painting has to do with my lost memories from that time. But my head's going to split open, it's even worse than earlier. Blight, the painting of Daphne's included this Mirror World book. There's something important hiding in it. But maybe my head can't withstand remembering a whole year of memories yet. I know this much uh, for now, no need to rush. I'll put the back book carefully. Well, it's getting late. I should sleep. So long to today's me. No, I want to figure this out. Um. Oh, okay, so when he's smoking, he's... it'll take a while. Stop! Stop looking through my journal. It was a very eventful day. <laughs> Smoking. Okay. What am I missing in this room? Little prominent. I'm in it holding a bouquet. 320. Maybe it's from that day I was at the hospital. Don't remember anything, but my journal starts around that date. Okay, I was hoping we'd find something else, but. Okay. Notebook doesn't say much about these, so I guess you handles the trash. It's packed full of instant meals, it's true. You you's never been one for cooking. Why would he stock up so much? 
lot of energy drinks. What am I missing? Oh, it's not he here. Oh, I think I messed up. I think I should have checked the TV. Okay, hold up. Where where is he? Is he taking a shower? Okay, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna take a nap and then I'll check the the news again. Okay. Checking things in the area will advance time from morning to noon to evening. Okay, feels kind of quiet. Did he leave? Please be showering. Okay, he's not in there. Where is he? Okay, so it's just gonna be a wasted day. Just nap it off, girl. Sun's about to set. Well, it's getting late. I should sleep. So long to today's me. Ooh, it's quite a bit written. Or not, all right. Oh, he's not in the balcony, come on. Where are you? Be showering. <gasps> Perfect. I push all the buttons on the remote, but the TV doesn't respond at all. Did he cut the cables on it? Oh yeah, it's not plugged in. How do I plug it in? <sighs> this is why you don't write it down in the first journal. And there's like, I don't need anything in... Seems like there's no one inside. I can't go in this one? Seems so weird. I can go in here when he's in here? Parents look, Parents looks incredible. <gasps> Oh my god, okay, there's a key sticking out of his pant pocket. Huh? Now that I look at it, is this the key to our parents' bedroom? I haven't gone in there since the accident. There's no reason not to, but... I wonder if you cleans it now. Take the key. Get out of there. It makes me curious somehow. It's a key for an unused room, so I'm sure it'll be fine if I borrow it. If he comes looking for it, I can... That didn't sound good. Did not sound good at all. Also, Nitro, how's it going? Uh, my Christmas was good. 
now I'm streaming horror, semi-horror, horror elements. Oof, okay. Did he electrocute us? Because that's what it sounded like. Okay, not an eventful day at all. Okay, all right. I didn't think it would actually let me go into the bathroom while he was in there. I was wrong. Shoot, he's not in there, okay. I need him to go to the bathroom. Or shower. All right. No, no. S to the bed. Would you ever play Bendy in the Ink Machine? Um, what kind of game is it? Maybe? It's not in it. Bro, come on. Okay. Also... Oh, Bendy and the Ink Machine is a horror game. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I look into it. Please be showering. It's it's fine. We should we should be a good girl and not make him more mad. Cuz I feel like we made him really mad already. My brother hit me. The end. Okay. Oh. It feels like I'm losing my grip on something important. No, I'm... I'm trying to do the thing. Oh, it's go time. Get in there, girl. Go, 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 go. Take the key. Well, I took this key, but I didn't end up going to the bedroom today. Good idea. I didn't say anything to you, but he doesn't seem to be looking for it. Right? Saying to give it back tomorrow. No, just keep it in the drawer. It's not worth writing down. I know it's the bedroom key without the notebook. Besides, I don't think there'd be any hurry to give it back. If I just put it in a drawer, I won't lose it. I'll borrow it for a little longer and use it soon. I'll take- yeah. So now I just need to wait till he's smoking? Would that be enough time? Check the drawer. Get that key. Okay. No. Check the drawer. According to the notebook, I found a bloody shirt in use, uh, use room earlier. I wonder if there's anything else. Maybe I'm overthinking it. No, she's not gonna let me get the key. Okay. Actually, I don't think I've ever... Can I just peek? Through here? Oh, no. It Hi. Uh, sorry to bring it up all of a sudden. Hey, why don't you try to relax and read today? Perfect for practicing with your notebook, eh? Wow, he seems so, he, he seems so happy. Alright. You got it, Oni-chan. 
I guess take a nap? How do I get her to check for the key? Should be noon now. Or can I just go into the bedroom? No need. Fine. Where'd he go? Is he in, in his room? Like, I don't, okay. No, I'm just gonna nap, because I have no idea where he's at. The house feels kind of quiet. Oh, memory shard, five out of six. Okay, so we're almost done with this, maybe? So he's not here and he's not outside. There's a chain on the door. I mean, you didn't use shoes are sitting next to it. No. Okay, so his shoes are here. So he is in here somewhere. Can't be in the parents' bedroom, so... Do... Do I try going in here? I don't... I don't have the key, right? Didn't get me that time. I knew what to expect. Let's see about yesterday's memory. It wasn't a very eventful day. The key! I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to get that key. Oh. Hello, big brother? Where are you? Oh, the flowers are different. Flower pot. Were these flowers always here? They're yellow now. check on the shirt but I already messed I think I messed that up because it's it's like not there anymore <sighs> okay hmm. house feels kind of quiet okay not in the balcony Probably not showering. 
There's no chain on the door, only Michiru's shoes are sitting next to it. Mm, can I... Check the drawer! Check the drawer! Check the drawer! There's no shirt there anymore... Jiru's first day at elementary school, 4 7. I haven't tried sleeping in his room. Neither of those. Okay. Whatever. I haven't tried napping here, so I'm just gonna sleep anyway. Sleep in his bedroom. <coughs> ah! He just let us sleep in there! Oh no. Let's see yesterday's memory entry. It wasn't a very eventful day. I was just kind of quiet. According to the notebook, I found a bloody shirt in used room earlier. I wonder if there's anything else there. No, not that I can find of. Not without like the beginning password. I need the parents key to go in there. Of course, I should have, I should have known. I should have known! Also, my lipstick's staying on pretty well, even though I'm drinking this Gatorade. Amazing. That's some good, good brand right there. Let's see, yesterday's memory entry. That wasn't a very eventful day. All right. Feels like I'm losing my grip on something important. Yeah, the key's in the stupid drawer. Like, hello. Info. Parents' bed. Like, I don't... How do I get her to check on that? Like, hello? I'll save in this spot. So he does- so he can just wait out there for me. What the heck? Oh, he's smoking. Actually, I don't think I've tried going outside while he's outside. Hello, big brother. Just taking a break. I've got a lot to worry about lately. I'm alright though, no need for you to worry. Alright. See you later. Oni-chan. I need you to take a shower or bath. Preferably a bath, because you'll be in there longer. Only pure thoughts in this stream. He's not in there. What the heck? Come on. 
get with the program. Big brother. <gasps> Jesus Christ. I knew he was gonna do that and I st still fell for it. He was outside smoking, what the heck? Check the drawer, girl. Girl, come on, really? Please be showering. Please, I need you to shower. Nope, don't do it. Please. No, don't take another sh nap. Okay. Oh no, I meant to not. Okay, there's it's still rusted. Go shower after dinner. I, so, oh, actually, I wonder if I can come back. Well, obviously, he's not there. Because right now it's noon. So, I wonder... I think the sun's starting to go down. Okay. So, I wonder if I can go into the shower room. And now, if I can shower. Don't mind me. dinner it's basically dinner time okay. don't mind me only chan I'm just taking a nap sun's about to set oh end of the day end of the day hmm well, so long to today's me. Girl, check your drawer. Like, I just need to, I just need to know. Did he take the key back? Or do I still have it? Because if he took it, great. Then I can just take it back. And then I can, oh my god. Then I can lock him out. Check the drawer! Please. Michiru, come on. Oh. Why aren't you showering? Hello? Are you okay? Good oh, morning, how are you feeling? I'm sure you know this, Michiru, but don't wander into my room. He's on to me. Sorry to bring this up all of a sudden. Hey, why don't you relax and read today? Perfect for practicing with your notebook, eh? Um, how are you feeling? Alright, well... Okay. So close to the end. Please. It's not in here.
What's wrong with you? Why won't you shower? Okay. It, it's, it's fine. It's fine. House feels kind of quiet. No, I need him to be in the house. I need him to shower. <laughs> Cause I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna be able to tell. Lazy, it's fine. I need you to go to sleep anyway. Hello, check the drawer, please. For the love of everything that's holy. For some reason, I suddenly felt hurried. Maybe I should gather my thoughts at the desk. Oh, are we doing it? According to the notebook, I found a bloody shirt in Yu's room earlier. I wonder if there's anything else there. I checked, there wasn't. I feel like there's still a secret hiding. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Check the damn drawer, girl. 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 Testing my patience. Okay. Maybe, maybe I did, ugh, what did I miss in his room though? I checked everything, I feel. Okay, no, not in there. See out on the balcony? Okay. I, I'm going for it. Okay, I should have napped. I feel like letting him catch me, though, makes it just move on quicker. Wasn't an eventful day. Oh, shower. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay. The box is empty. The picture's there. There's bland clothing. I can nap there. Some fancy books. What? What am I missing? Beginning. <sighs> it's it's neither of these. Beginning of when he trapped me in here. Oh my god, he's there. I still fell for it. Also, if you gotta go, no worries. See you later. MP3, yes, please. What am I missing? I'm so close, but I just, I don't know. Ugh. Please. So close. I just need her to check for the, the key card. She's not doing it. And I have it here, so that's why I'm like... Uh, 
Um, look at the photo on the shelf again. Oh, okay. Are you showering? Nope, okay. Please don't be in the living room. Um, there's a photo in a frame making it so prominent. Minute holding a bouquet. 320. Hmm, maybe it's from the day I was hospitalized. I don't think it'll help me remember anything. But I think my notebook starts around this date. Oh, he's smoking. Oh, maybe I need... Okay, so I need to do... I need to look at that date and go into his room immediately after. Otherwise, she forgets the date, maybe. And that's why I couldn't use the number before. Is that it? Is that what's going on? Please work. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is it. Okay. Folder unlocked. Is it a bunch of pictures of me? It opened, but why is it, why is it the day I was hospitalized that is the beginning? Oh well, let's just look into this folder. Don't do that, that's a bad idea. I mean, it's not normal to set up a lock. List of people. Three. Kaede Takanashi. Nurse. Family. Seichi Hinohara. Painter. Family. Mirai Orihara. No, he did get her. High school student. Huh? What the? Is Takanashi and Mirai? I don't know about Hinohara, but... Where are these people... Where are these people who are in my memories being listed out here? Like I thought, you must be hiding something. Something important. Related to the memories from the hospital I'd forgotten until just recently. After all, people don't normally, or normally keep a list of other people's personal information like this. And people related to me at all. There are these three people's names, their family members, and other personal info. But no indication of what all this means. Still, I think it's bad if you saw me doing this. I can't stay here for too long. I should put the past, or I should put the PC back to sleep and leave the room now. I agree. Is he there? Please don't be there. Oh. Whew! Ms. Takanashi and Mirai Orihara's names were on News PC. What's worrying is that he had a list of information on them with password on it. When the world would he be trying to hide them from me? Cause he killed them. Dum dum. Hello? As far as I remember, they were kind people. No reason to go and hide them. Don't write- don't write it down. Please don't write it down. <sighs> Girl. Miss Takanashi and Mirai Orihara, why is you hiding them from me? Did something happen in the blank period? I know, if it's something important, I should write it in my separate notebook. Yeah, you right, girl. Please let me get into the parents' room now. <gasps> Are the par- did the parents not actually get into the car accident? Are they in that room? Is that what's happening? What's going on? Summing up wasn't in my main notebook, but was written in my second notebook. Four, first he researched people who I met in my blank period, or blank year, and is carefully hiding it. Also, while looking at Daphne's, a strange piece of memory crossed my mind. With such a force, it felt like my head was splitting. It seems to be related to a book of paintings called The Mirror World, also in the drawer. But, I don't like my head splitting, so I'm not eager to test things out. Also, similarly, for some reason, the key in the bedroom is in the drawer. Sure, a parent's bedroom is just an unused room for now, but I wonder why it's here. Because we need to go in there, dummy. I'm sure there's some meaning to this key. Yeah, like, go in into your parent's room. Hello? It's not in the notebook, but I'm sure it means that I need to go to the room! <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, maybe I'll go to the bedroom tomorrow. No need to write it down. God, thank you. Okay. Please 
taken a shower or like leave completely uh, two months ago. Oh, we're going back. One day, a little while after beginning to keep a memory notebook. This is a pretty poster. Mysterious up-and-coming artist Mishiro Usui's personal exhibit, The Mirror World. Location, Mirror Lake Natural Park, Rin Gallery. It's an exhibit for a painter, I guess, but it draws me in somehow. Interested in the painting, are you? <gasps> Is he the painter? Is he the painter? Um, well, maybe interested. I was just looking and thought it was pretty. I see, I see. Her work is abstract, sure, but those with the taste for it can understand its unusual charm. You must have a good eye, yes indeed. Why did the person suddenly walk up? It doesn't feel like he knows me. I don't think I'm suspicious- Uh, oh, don't think I'm suspicious or anything. I'm a patient here, a humble would-be painter. Ever heard of Seichi Hinohara? I'm not knowledgeable about that kind of thing. Huh, wouldn't expect it. I'm not that famous after all. The painter of that piece that you were looking at, Mishiro Usui. I was her teacher once. I was. Well, amazing, don't you think? Wow. What? She has a bit of a painful past. She even suffered memory loss because of it. Memory loss? Perhaps that's why... It's why her art has such an allure. That's just how I feel. As if sucking viewers deep down into a swamp with no bottom. It has that strange sense of transience. Hmm. Oh yes, I was on the way to my hospital room. I tend to lose myself when I talk about art. Sorry for rambling on to you. If you're ever interested in her, in Miss Mashiro's art, let's speak again. Is that him? Painter with memory loss. Is that why I found her art so pretty? Because she carried a similar anguish? Did I unconsciously feel something from that painting? The next day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do. Oh, Mirai. Hello. You came to visit me? Yeah, just dropping by while I was here. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, thanks. You visited two days ago, too, right? I'm happy you keep visiting. I, I told you, it's just while I'm here. You know, don't get the wrong idea. Oh. <coughs> but isn't today a weekday? Don't you have to go to school? It's fine, nothing fun about school. And when I go to the hospital, I get the whole day off. Anyway, heard you've been befriending the painter named Hinohara. Takanashi told me. Oh, yes. I heard he's- he was Mr. or Miss Mishido's art teacher. Told me a lot about her work. It's a lot to write down in the notebook, but it's been a f it's been fun filling it up so much. <sighs> the wording in this is like so- so mouthy. Mishido Sui, eh? Oh right, Mirai, I'm gonna see Miss Mishido's exhibit. Mr. Hinohara and my brother are coming along. If you would like, would you come too? There's a lot of beautiful paintings. Who's her brother? Is her brother my current brother? Huh, an art exhibit. Don't know about that stuff, but... Well, I don't know much either. What do you think? Not interested? If you don't want to, then... Hey, I didn't say no, did I? Guess I have no choice. I'll go too. I'm bored anyway. Really? I'm excited to go with a friend. A friend, huh? Aww, friendship. But hey, I like it too. Oh, cute. Not sure what's fun about hanging out with a bad kid like me, though. You're what got me to start my memory notebook, Mirai. Well, if you say so. So cute. Is this her brother? Michiru, you lightened up lately. It's thanks to the memory notebook you taught me to keep Miss Takanashi. I found people to talk to, and I've gotten, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've gotten things to look forward to. Maybe I'm managing to cope with this. That's great, your injury's getting a lot better too. So I bet you can get out of the hospital soon. R really? Seems the injury has been steadily healing in the past few months. 
while you've been doing well mentally. That should be a relief to your brother. Oh no, so he is actually your brother. Yes, it really is. I was really worried for a while there. Thank you so much. Ms. Takanashi, Mr. Hinohara, Mirai. Even after acquiring memory disorder, I was able to meet so many new people. My brother was no longer my only ally. Oh, that's where the problems are started. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't easy writing every little thing that happened during the day each night. But it was great that I could start my days reading over stuff fulfilling memory entries. But... Here it is. That's why it was so scary. All those people and events, the precious days I was slowly building up. If this notebook were lost, it'd be all gone forever in an instant. Just that one small thing. If just by some mistake this notebook got lost, then I would never... I didn't want to explicitly write down those fears, but... I'm sure yesterday's me and earlier's me had the same unease before going to sleep. I like the music. It's like, it's so simple, but it's like, it's not annoyingly repetitive, like it can get in some games. Also, I do have a Discord server. I forgot to link it down below. <sighs> oh boy. But my Discord server has nothing to do with like, Minecraft things, so... If you want stream announcements, feel free to go to my Twitch, and it should be linked there. Huh, so this is it. There's so many Miss, uh, so many of Miss Mishido's paintings. Lots of ones I don't know yet. I'm sure I'm going to write down impressions in my notebook so I don't forget what I see. Blooming flower. Yes, yes, thank you for being so kind with Michiru. I'm talking with Mr. Hinohara. If you need something, ask later. Why don't you go check the exhibit? Oh, so no, this was a completely different person. It's nothing to brag about, but I've lost a lot in my life as well. But the fact that she was able to become an artist who could open her own exhibit, it makes me just as happy myself. I've been spending many days sleeping in my hospital room, my body nearing its limit. I wonder if I've done all that I'm able to do. Thousand Stones. Mishiro Usui, artist, age 28. A female artist, granddaughter of the famous painter Rinzo Usui, known for an abstract, fantastical style. Once attempted suicide in her past, which caused memory loss. Oh, she began writing in art around the same time, so she was relative, or er, she has relatively little practice as an artist. As a, but as many suspect, that experience is an influence. Mm, lake. Don't know how to put this. Sure, a lot of strange paintings, especially the flower painting in the back. I didn't really get it. How about you? Crack smile. Are we the artist? There's there there has to be some weird like twist. Empty sixteen years. Life and death. Whoa. Is it really right to remember? Huh? Excuse me? What? Was that my imagination? But... What's this sense of uneasiness? Oh, everything's changed. Dun up, dun up. Oh, it's a heart. Is it a heart? That was, yeah, I thought. Oh no, that is the flower. But once you take that, like, really stylized picture out of the, like, or illustration, it kind of looked like a heart. Blight. This is myself, my regret. Every night, I mourn my mistakes and think of my lost past. It must look like, or 
It must look like a disgraceful, ugly thing. The meaning of Daphne's is undying. They bear poison berries just as I bear my regrets. And so I leave it here by my precious brush. Or by way of my precious brush. What? A terrifying, overpowering feeling of regret towards lost memory exudes from the painting. Yes, losing memories is a terrifying thing. That emotion is displayed bare, burning itself into the viewer's eyes and mind. It feels like my pain is understood. Only those with memory loss can understand the power of this painting. At the same time, the question of what we do with this suffering, I feel like I see an answer. People can put such emotion towards things which they've lost, that no longer exists and leave it in a heavy venomous beautiful form in other words the sorrow of loss is an eternal poison which stays with people forever that is what the painting is saying mm, i see if my mind can't remember these days the people i just i can just etch them in not in any notebook but in myself with poison Excuse me? Don't do that? <laughs> Hello? It feels like I had a dream about the past. I wonder what it was that prompted me to remember the past. Mr. Hinohara was the old man who told me about Miss Michiro's art. After that, I started writing lots and lots about my day in my memory notebook. It was a lot of fun. But that's what made me so uneasy about being unable to keep memories in my mind. Later, I went to Miss Mishiro's art. And there, I saw that painting. Ooh. Ugh. My head hurts. Why? Why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember Blight? I think I must have seen the painting and realized a way I could keep memories, even while having a, di a memory disorder. The terrifying regrets and sadness towards lost memory in that painting. I felt it, and... Just one step away. I can't remember that one last step. But what's there... But what is there is so important. I shouldn't rush. I was able to remember all of this on my own power. No memory notebook. Which means my memories remain. Seeing that painting and realizing a way to keep my memories, the memory must still be there. So I shouldn't rush. It's just one last step. An impetus at all might or blah, blah, blah. any impetus at all might allow me to remember it so. Okay. Whew, okay, let's see. Yes, there's memory. A warning to tomorrow's me. Don't try to remember the past anymore. Don't try to remember the past anymore. Ooh, Lord. All right. What's this? This doesn't mean anything to me. Yesterday's me is just yesterday's me. It doesn't matter to today's me. I will get my memory of that blank period. Hmm? Something's in my pocket. Is this the key to our parents' bedroom? Hmm, will I remember if I go there? The last piece to fill in the blank? Seems that the time is approaching to clear up what happened during Michiro's hospital stay. In that yet uninvestigated room, perhaps there lies a final clue. Okay. Okay, is he outside? Ooh, hello. Whew. You should stay put in your room today. Um, I said stay put in your room today. I'm thirsty, Oni-chan. Um, I need to use the restroom. I was just going to the restroom. Well, I'll wait here then. Once you're done, back to your room. Okay. You, what in the world is this? If I can't even leave my room, there's no chance of reaching the bedroom. What should I do? Okay. 
Okay. Let's go out through the balcony. Okay, nothing there. I made it to the living room at least. But still, the bedroom is down the hall. I'll have to go past you at some point. Is there anything in the living room I can use to lower his guard? Oh, the TV. He's there! How are you there? How can I use the remote control? Because I, when I go to use... Oh, man. Maybe now it'll let me do it. Oh, okay. So he stopped telling me about... Okay. Is he still outside my room? Oh. Yep, there he is. He just stay put. All right. All right, fine. Okay. Go out. Get it to the living room. I have this remote control, but I can't just use it. Photo. Okay. How are you there? Come on. Maybe I need to hack into his PC. Making sure he's not out there. <sighs> okay, I'm in the living room. Hello? Can you not? Okay. Not an eventful day at all. What am I? I feel like I'm losing my grip on something important. It's fine, okay. So it's not the TV, it's not his bedroom. I don't think I can do, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I can do anything there. Something to do with the fridge? No, okay. Chan, Why were you in the living room? I should have seen you. Well, anyways, you should stay put in your room today. Um, I said stay put in your room today. You, what in the world is this? Oh, I, I can go, yes. Wait, is he outside? <sighs> it's fine. Should be about noon now. Ooh. Okay, never mind. He's not here. I can't just use the remote control. Like, 
Why not? Hello? How- how is he this good? Excuse me. We out here. Is there anything to do with the flowers? Nope. Okay. Also, if you took a break and are just coming back, welcome back. I'm trying to get into the parents' bedroom. Not working. Is there anything in the... Um, okay. I don't think it'll... Yep, probably not. All right. Not. Oh, if I start cooking. I know, if I start cooking here, I say I just passed you by. It hurts a little, but I can't think of any other believable excuses. And also, he doesn't have any cooking skill. He wouldn't force me back to my room if I were in the middle of this, right? So if this goes well, it should find me some time. Uh, it feels like I'm making this choice. I might advance the story in a big way. Hell yeah, start cooking. Get to it. Michiru? Hello, Anichan. I'm cooking for you. Say ah. <laughs> Why are you here? What are you so flustered about? As you can see, I'm just cooking. Where do you start? When did you start doing that? I don't know, a while ago. I guess we just passed each other? Oh. Well, I can make it, so you should go back to your room. What are you talking about? I'm already in the middle of it. So, just let me do it today. Mm, right, sorry. Looks like you won't force me to stop. This is my chance. If I can just get you away from here, I can investigate the bedroom. Bro, go out shopping. Hey you, could you go buy me some soy sauce? I want to use it in this, but I don't have enough. If there's not enough soy sauce, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. You just... <laughs> you just don't know because you don't cook. But... What? It's just a trip to the supermarket, right? I have my hands full here, and I know you can't take my place. Or is there some reason why you don't want me to stay here and watch? Or... Or is there some reason why you have to stay here and watch me? What are you talking about, Michiru? There's no reason for that. Boy, you're strange. I got it. Soy sauce, eh? Get it for you right away. So just keep on cooking. Stay right there. Let's go! Looks like it worked. But I'm sure I'll come back quickly. This is my only opportunity. I'll investigate the bedroom. I'm sure there's a piece of my memory there. Let's go. What if he's waiting for me? Okay, no. Get in that room. Get in that room. Check everything. Parents' belongings. Parents' belongings. Some advanced looking uh, books. Doesn't have open the closet. Once you open it, there is no turning back. Open the closet. There's nothing inside the closet. Except, sitting unnaturally at the bottom is a dull-bladed, rusty fruit knife. Is that what he killed people with? This knife. I've seen it. Memory shard recorded. This knife was... Did we do it? Did they do it? One month ago, Mashiba Hospital. 
The sorrow of loss is an eternal poison which stays with people forever. I see. If I can't, uh, if I, if my mind can't remember the days, the people, I can just etch them in. Not into any notebook. But into myself with poison. Oh, no. No. Oh. Serial murders are scary stuff. Two people dead in just a few days? Of all people, Takanashi and the painter Hinohara, people we know are getting killed. I just... I don't know what's going on. You gotta be careful. I mean it. This hospital might be bad news. Did she kill them? Was, was I right on that? Michiru, are you listening? Mirai, I'll never forget them. Miss Takanashi or Mr. Hinohara? Yeah, you've got it all in your notebook. No, not like that. The two of them live on in my heart as a poison that'll never heal. What the f- I realized something. There is, uh, there is a way to not forget people even without my notebook. So I'm not scared anymore. I don't have to fear losing my notebook now. The painting. Blight taught me that. How the sorrow of loss is a poison that stays with people forever. You... That's right. The hole in my heart condemns me. The eyes that looked at me won't leave my head. The voices screaming at me, I'll always hear. The feeling of their lives draining stays on me. Why did it come back to this? Is there no going back? Those regrets torture me. I'm crying every night. Miss Takanashi and Mr. Hinohara won't come back. It hurts so much. It's no longer just a memory. I'm sure. It's trauma. <laughs> uh, it won't leave my mind after a night's sleep. I want to throw up. I want it erased. I want to go back to the past and undo it. Each time, I truly feel it. Yes, these people. They're living in on, uh, living on in me as poison. My mind right now is just... Uh, then you don't regret it? Killing the two of them? I do. I do regret it. Which is why I won't- I don't regret it. Michiru. I don't want to forget you either, Mirai. Oh my god, please run. After all, you're my friend. Mirai? Got him. Please, last forever in me. Why the hell? Why did you get this way, Michiru? You were coping using your notebook. You found some new interests. What's one of Michiru's paintings mean to that? You looked like you were having the time of your life. You're right. I did enjoy it. And so I never wanted to lose it. Those memories didn't deserve to just be words on a flimsy piece of paper. Don't disappear on me. You can't leave my memories, Mirai. Can I, uh, get some Fs in chat for a girl that's about to die? You should know, Michiru. She, she is sick. I got a sickness. What is it? Something modern science can't cure. I'll die before I'm all, uh, before I'm all that old. <sighs> Some of the words in this game are just... The wording's weird. I'll die before I'm old. That's why I got abandoned as a baby. I'm living with the help of an orphanage now. That's why I'm a punk with dyed hair. Who don't go to school much. No friends either. Of course. Nobody needs me. No matter what I do, I'm just gonna die soon. Seems like there's no point. Except, here at the hospital, you overcame your disorder just to come talk to me. Every time I've popped into your room since, you've looked, uh, you've looked super glad. You invited me to the exhibit. All that made me pretty happy. I might not care about myself, but I was happy to be needed by somebody. 
So if you'll uh, be satisfied with killing me, then sure, whatever. Maybe I'd stain people's memories better that way versus dying alone from illness. But... It's a blight, yeah? Huh? Ain't you suffering? You don't really want to keep pain like that around forever. It's the, fu it's the fun times you don't want to forget, right? So is there really a point? You're gonna just forget the fun stuff and keep the pain with you forever? That's... I mean... Sheesh, for real. I ain't gonna stop you. Do what you want. If you want to kill me, do that. I won't resist. But if it makes you suffer more, I think the notebook's the better choice. I mean, already killed two people. What'll it be, Michiru? I... I'm not wrong. This is the only way to keep those memories. I'm not wrong. Alright girl, alright girl, calm down. We continue our ongoing report on the Mashiba, ho Mashiba Hospital serial murders. There have been a total of three victims within the past month, yet the case remains shrouded in mystery. Other than the victims being either patients or employee, uh, employees at Mashiba Hospital, there have been a few clues as to... You? Michiru, why are you in this room? You. Well then, gotta put you back to sleep. It'd be a real problem if you remember the truth, Michiru. It's okay, Michiru. Whatever I do, you won't remember anything tomorrow. You'll only feel scared and hurt for a moment. I'll put you to sleep quickly. Uh, today's bad little Michiru ends here. You. It's too late. I've remembered everything. What? I've been slowly searching each day for clues around the house, and I got my memories at the hospital. These are memories I won't forget, even without my notebook. That's inconceivable. For a year now, you've, left, uh, you've been left unable to keep any memories for more than a day, right? As long as it's not in the notebook, you shouldn't be able to remember anything. Bro, I killed through people. That's wrong. I've been having dreams of it. The music's kind of cool. My memory's up to now. And what I've done. It's a reality I'd like to turn away from. And yet... I can't make it so it never happened. Listen, you. I'm gonna describe to you the events I remembered at the hospital. The whole... <sighs> okay. Did the brother murder him? But she's remembering them differently because she was so traumatized by them dying and then her learning about them being dead? I... <sighs> okay. The whole of the Mashiba Hospital serial murder is from start to finish. And if I'm correct, then let's end this. Alright. Go ahead and try, Michiru. See if you can tell the truth of the year you couldn't possibly remember. Oh boy. Okay. Let's have it. Oh, uncover the truth! Remember the events one at a time and look back to the truth of this case. You've made it this far, there's nothing to fear. The only way is forward. Alright. Let's start at the beginning. What was the cause of my memory disorder? Car accident. <laughs> Conspiracy. This is like so Phoenix, right? It's, it's, ugh. Right, a year ago I lost my parents in a car accident and suffered a head injury. It was a fateful day, alright, for me and especially for you. That's what gave me my memory disorder. From then on, I stopped making new memories. What happened to me after my injury? Went to the hospital. To have my injury treated, I had to be at Mashima Hospital. 
The only memories I've recalled have been between now and three months ago. Before that, I had no memory notebook, and probably half of those forgotten days were spent in a comatose state. Yeah, you slept for about half a year after the accident, then spent another three months all hollow. But those aren't what's important. This case began three months ago. So what happened three months ago? Suicide attempt. Uh, started memory notebook. Yes, I began in my, uh, my notebook because the nurse suggested it so that I could remember Mirai, right? To remember who Mirai was, the little thing is what kicked it off. Nine months after the accident, you finally started trying to recover. Though I fumbled with it, with this, I could make memories once more. Next, two months ago, what happened? Saw the blight. Yes, I encountered that painting. Painting? The reason for that was... Um... He wasn't a doctor, right? He was just another patient. The painter Hinohara. I met a painter named Hinohara that, capti uh, that was captivated by Mishido's paintings. My notebook really started to fill up after that. It was a really happy time. Yep. They even said that you might be let out soon. But that's why... I fear losing my memory. I couldn't accept just a memory notebook anymore. I wanted to keep these people in my memory- or in my- blah, 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 in my mind. So when I saw Blight by an artist who also had memory loss, its message about loss being an eternal poison hit me hard. I see. I thought you seemed uh blech. I thought you seemed somehow odd since the day we went to that exhibit. So that one painting had so much of an effect on you? I never even considered. Shame on you. How could you not consider it? Then what happened a month ago? Um uh, Serial Murders. Yes, the Mashiba Hospital serial murders occurred. The victims were Miss Takanashi, Mr. Hinohara, and people precious to me, of course, because because the sorrow of loss stays with you as an eternal poison. Wow, amazing. That's right. The killer in the Mashiba Hospital serial murders was the culprit the nurse? No. She's dead. Was the culprit the painter? No, he's dead. Was the culprit Mirai Orihara? No, she's dead. Is the culprit my brother, you Orihara? I want to say yes, but I must say no. We'll go with no. Yes. Culprit was me. Right. I destroyed the things I loved myself. And that pain, the poison, that sin was etched into my soul. That that was it. That's what happened. That was the Mashiba Hospital serial murders. I remember it all. Wow, the brother wasn't a murderer? Amazing. Stop it, Michiru. You have a memory disorder. You should just forget about things like that. You lost your mother and father and got this distor- uh, got this disorder. I know you're tired. I can't, you. Miss Takanashi who was so kind to me. Mr. Hinohara who taught me about art. My only friend after the accident, Mirai. I can't make it so I- so it never happened. I can't. So I poisoned myself with them. The poison will never go away. I have to carry that burden. Damn, this shit got real deep real quick. Oof, okay. Promise you, this is the end of this. No secrets. So now it's your turn. Tell me what happened after the incident. After me leaving the hospital to today. Why did I forget killing three people and live at home like nothing happened? I sheltered you. Just after your final criminal act, you attacked Mirai Orihara. By chance, I went to the hospital roof and witnessed the crime. At the time, I had no idea why you had done such a thing. But I, su I suppose the murder is where you're doing. I... Mirai... I... 
You were in a daze. You didn't look in, look in your right mind. So I cleaned up the scene and I disposed of your earlier notebooks. Dang. Later, the police and reporters came along, but because of your disorder and concern for your health, you weren't questioned much. And before long, you were dismissed from the hospital. You and I came back home. You were calm, but you were still spacing out, like your mind was still distant. As you said, I guess your murder surpassed your faulty memory to stay in the back of your mind. So starting then, I decided to control and cleanse your memory. Cleanse? Yeah. One, I wouldn't let you go outside or get any outside information. Two, I try to weaken the memories of the day by putting you in a boring daily routine. Three, I observed your memory notebook and erased anything suspicious you wrote. I did that every day since you left the hospital. Dang, what a good brother. Uh, the murder weapon that I kept... Throw it away! What an idiot! The murder weapon that I kept, thinking it might be found if I discarded it. The bloody... Just put some bleach or whatever on it. God, idiot. The bloody shirt from when I cleaned up the scene on the hospital roof. Thorough research I did on the three victims, just to make sure the police couldn't trace you. In the end, it all backfired on me. So that was it. But that means you took on the crime of harboring me. I was desperate too. If you got caught, you'd lo I'd lose the only memory, or you'd lose the only memory you, you had left, you know? I'm sorry, Michiru. I guess it just wasn't enough to satisfy you with your memory disorder. Oh, he's crying. If I'd been a better brother, I bet you wouldn't feel so lonely. I'm really sorry. Why did I forget? Because I took him being there for granted. I thought the memory notebook was my world and effecti uh, effectively my only ally. But even back when I was comatose, didn't my brother support me? So even if I lost my notebook, wouldn't my brother, always at my side, help me as much as I needed? How sweet. I should be sorry. I only thought of myself. I wasn't thinking of Miss Takanashi, or Mr. Hinohara, or Mirai, or you. I just panicked about losing my memory. I forgot the people who supported me, and put a blight on my own life. It was so selfish. Dang. I must have hurt them all. I'm sorry, Miss Takanashi, Mr. Hinohara, Mirai. I'm so sorry. Oh, they're all crying. Oh, no, don't cry. Stop. Three days later. You and I chose to turn ourselves in. Are you crazy? What? You could have gotten away with it. We don't intend to run from our crimes. Even if they were uh, from temporary insanity, they were absolutely my crimes. But before that, you told me there was someone he wanted me to meet. Ooh. <laughs> this is... It might be a painful place for you, but I think it's the best place. Hey Michiru, when you attacked Midayori Hara here, I said I cleaned up the scene, but think about it. Somebody would come up here sometime, there'd be no time to escape anywhere. Well, sure. I had a collaborator, someone who helped conceal your crime. Collaborator? Mirai herself? What the? Yo. She's not... Me... Mirai? In a ghost? Michiru, you stopped her. But that was it. She was the only one you stopped before killing. I don't know why, but I'm sure at the last moment, maybe you realized your mistake and decided to stop? After I got shanked, <laughs> after I got shanked, I put up with my stomach hurting like hell to talk to your bro. Then he put you to sleep and got away from the scene, and I took the knife with him. 
or and Anne took the knife with him. Then I put on an act for the hospital peeps who came running up. Somebody stabbed me, didn't see their face. You too, Mirai? Why? You know why. I mean, you didn't kill me, yeah? Yeah, just stabbed her in the stomach. You stopped short all on your own, so you know, I wanted to help you. We're, uh, friends and all. Uh, okay. Maybe that's pushing it. Light up a storm to the cops so after that, too. We die. I'm really- I'm really glad you're okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Dang. Protag got it too good. What? Hey, Michiru? What, you? About the picture blight. Yeah? I saw it too, with the explanation and all. Blight, this is myself and my regret. Every night I, I mourn my mistakes and think of my lost past. I must look like a disgraceful, ugly thing. The meaning of Daphne's is undying. The, they bear poison berries just as I bear my regrets. And so, I leave it here, by way of my precious brush. I think this is what it's talking about. Hmm? Mishiru Usui definitely put it in there. The regret she felt towards her memories. She spit it all into the picture so that she wouldn't look back anymore. So we, and you, will atone our sins and live with them. I'm sure we can start anew. Yeah. What? We're going to prison. No doubt, I'll continue to suffer from my poisons. Tomorrow's me will too, and the me after that. But even knowing that they'll be my eternal, I put them in me myself. Even if it's poison, they're precious memories. Until the day I can fully atone, those three months of poison will make me suffer. And I'll keep dreaming of that blight. Damn. Okay, it's a very simple game, but it's still pretty good. So, it also, it's free. So, pretty good. I'd give it like a four out of five. I like, I like the style that it was in. Also, the music was really good, surprisingly. Itachi. Sound effect love. <laughs> Special thanks. Smile boom. Mogura. Oh, supporters. Hananashi, Sudao, Jiharu, Mao Keku, Kekika, Bakimaki. That's a lot of people. Was this a Kickstarter game or like? These just random people that just donated through coffee or something. Just got up from my bed and my head hurts. Don't worry. Drink some water. Maybe that'll help you feel better. My head kind of hurts too from this game. Just cause. It didn't go in the direction I thought it was gonna. Still good. That feel when no murdering has Bondo. We'll get him next time. <laughs> the end. Alright. Not bad. Short game. Probably finish in like 2 hours 30 minutes? Less maybe? The end. Yeah, I mean, that's it. <sighs> Dang.